The birds and the bees. We all know how awkward that conversation could be. It's something I can relate to, especially growing up in an Indian household. Not to mention the local kids in Flemington Park, where one theater program is trying to make the sex talk a little bit less cringe. This is Flemington Park. Located right by the Don Valley, some of you may recognize this neighborhood from 2015, when it became a flashpoint for Ontario's updated sex ed curriculum. No! A parent-led campaign kept thousands of students home to protest changes that introduced concepts like gender identity, sexual orientation, and masturbation. We say no! We say no! This is public health advocate and theater artist Shira Taylor. She wanted to make sex education less intimidating for youth here, so she created Sext, or Sex Education by Theater. Revolutionize sex ed, it's time for teens to give the talk. It's a program that teaches youth how to openly talk about relationships and sexual health through song and dance. STI, sexually transmitted infections, are on the rise with youth, and especially this is true in underserved communities like Thorncliffe and Flemington Park with a lot of newcomer youth. So my goal was to use, bring my theater background and use theater as a way that we could stop making this topic so serious and stigmatized and make it more relatable and even just fun. Since launching here in 2014, Sex has toured over 55 high schools across Canada. 16-year-old Ibrahim says the program helps him feel more at ease discussing what his family considers to be a taboo topic. There was like a stigma around it and it's still true, especially with like the older generation. They like, and my mom is religious, so like I didn't know how she would feel if I told her. With sex in its name, the program had a marketing problem. So the Flemington Health Center decided to promote it as Next, Newcomer Education by Theater, to encourage youth to sign up. One of the approaches we took was changing the name of the program from Sex Education by Theatre to Next Education by Theatre to offer a more inclusive approach and a less um, intimidating approach for both the youth and the parents. Today, some of the youth who finished the program have graduated to become peer mentors, including 24-year-old Sarah Ahmed. I didn't get a formal birds and the bees talk with my family. We're coming up with ways to find, to deliver information in a way that is um, relevant to them through the use of theatre because they see themselves in these characters. I think it allows us to kind of more open up that conversation of mental health and our bodies. You ain't touching me unless I want you to. Signing off, I'm Anissa Banji of The Green Line reporting with City News.